Hey everybody, this is Go Geronimo, and I wanted to share something with you today I have learned. After posting that How to Make Your Own Rawhide Glue video, which I appreciate you guys watching, um, someone named Namir Issa uh, sent me a message saying that, you know, you're just removing the gelatin from the rawhide, and you can actually just get um, gelatin from your supermarket, unscented, and it'll work the same. Well, a couple of maybe a dollar dollar fifty and you've got loads of rawhide right here easy to reconstitute I said hey I'm going to give it a shot and I wasn't disappointed it actually does work I'll show you an exploded view on these three strips we have Elmer's glue Knox gelatin and tight bond genuine rawhide glue and a spoiler alert don't use this it's junk for backing bows All right, so the middle one, or I think I have it rearranged differently in the picture, but the one that's bowing is the Knox gelatin, and that's exactly what you want to do when you're backing a bow. You're using rawhide or rawhide glue and sinew. You want that extra energy trying to bring your limbs of your bow forward when it's strung back, okay? That's what you want, and that is exactly what it's doing, and he is right in the mirror. He said, thank you very much for that tip. I'm going to be backing my sinew bows with Knox Gelatin. I will, however, not be using Tight Bond Genuine Rawhide Glue. Um, if this gets to this other guy who I saw use this, I'm sorry, dude. It's, it's not a good glue to use for backing your uh, sinew bow. So... Thanks for watching. I thought I'd share that with everyone. Click like, subscribe, share my videos. Check out GoGeronimo.com. I am changing, revamping. Um, it's going to be always kind of morphing into something ridiculously awesome. But I think you'll like it. Go to GoGeronimo.com. Check it out. Bye-bye.